So honeysuckle is one of those other invasive species that's very prevalent in a lot of our woodlands in central Indiana. Um, Asian bush honeysuckle is again a non-native. It was introduced into um, our lands. And honeysuckle, there, there are several things that make it highly invasive. Um, one of the things is it produces really um, bushy, broad branches that cover anything that's trying to grow in the understory. This one is relatively young, um, so it, it's a little bit smaller, but when you see big honeysuckle, big mature honeysuckle, they can have stumps that are this big. So that's one of the ways it shades out everything that's trying to grow underneath it. It also sends out harmful chemicals um, through its roots. So it not only shades out any plants trying to grow underneath, but it kills the plants with its, with its toxins that it sends out um, through the roots. In the fall time, they'll produce little red berries. Um, birds do eat those berries, but they're actually of no nutritional value. Um, so it would be like eating a handful of sugar to a bird. So it provides all car carbohydrates, no nutrients. So um, not, not really useful for wildlife at all. They will eat those berries. Now, if you are removing honeysuckle in the fall, you just want to be very mindful of where that honeysuckle is going. So you don't want those berries to spread. You don't want the seeds to get spread into your yard. So in order to control honeysuckle um, in our woodlands, one very common technique is to pull it out, hand pull, just like, just like garlic mustard. Um, if it's about this size and the soil is moist, you are able to pull that plant out. Um, if it gets much bigger than this, a lot of times the root system grows down into the ground and it makes it a little bit harder to pull out. But if it's something like this size, you just want to make sure to grab on to the base of the honeysuckle. And again, you want to pull out all of those roots. You don't want to leave any of the roots in the ground. So I'm going to pull out this honeysuckle. And you can see the root system underneath it. Now, this time of year, it's spring. They don't have the berries yet. After you uproot your honeysuckle, it's totally okay to just turn that honeysuckle down and leave it on the ground for it to naturally decompose. This will provide habitat for other critters and will decompose um, and turn back into soil and, and leaf litter.